Now, a bikini model looking for love. It doesn't sound like it would be a hard task, but for Jenna Thompson, she claims it's completely impossible. Well, after having a history of dating disasters, she says her good looks are to blame for her single status. And a bold move to say that, and she's here now to <laughs> tell us more. Welcome, Jenna. Lovely Welcome. to see Hello. you. So you've got two children, uh, five and one, I think. Yes. And you uh, split with your ex uh, two years ago, mm -hmm. and since that time, dating has been a bit of a disaster. It's a minefield. I think it's the dating apps, because they're just... It's just... It's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. And is that because a dating app it is essentially an image? So you don't... It's not face-to-face, -face. you put an image on there, so because everybody's just focused on image... Yeah. That's... It's really shallow. So, I mean, I think people get a kick out of how many swipes they get, so that obviously, like, narrows down any, like, potential nice people it's just it's just it's just a complete minefield i've had some serious disasters so what sort of disasters have you had then what why what led you to say <laughs> i'm too good looking to date what it is i think i intimidate guys um i intimidate nice guys so i seem to attract guys that are only after one thing or people that think they'll just have a go have a shot and they seem to just want hookups then no, no one's actually looking for something that serious so what i mean what's the plan then i mean what are you going to do if the dating apps aren't working can't you just go and do this sort of old-fashioned thing of meeting somebody face to face. You say that. You say that. But I had to. I mean, I was set up on a date with um, with some friends of mine, and it actually ended up being with a guy that was a parking ticket um, officer, and he'd actually given me a ticket earlier on in that day. And this, oh, well, these, the these are yeah, and these are my friends trying to set me up on a date with somebody local, and um, yeah, I had a parking ticket anyway. I had a bit of an argument, let's just say, with the ticket officer, oh. and he turned out to be the guy that I was meeting for the blind date later on that afternoon or that evening, oh, no. which was a bit cringe. But it didn't work <laughs> out? I, it didn't work out for me. Well, no. neither, he, wasn't, he wasn't for me. Neither did the, uh, the married man who uh, told no. you quite late on, uh, who then fell over. Yeah, OK, so I had this guy who confessed, admittedly he did confess that he was married, um, relatively late on into us dating, and it was quite cold and wet on the day that he told me. He told me face to face and he actually slipped and fell over whilst trying to sort of chase after me after I was walking off, and I had to take him to the hospital. And he was terrified that his wife would go to the hospital and... Well, yeah, and they'd call his next of kin, obviously. But I had to take him to the hospital because he knocked himself out. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, um, friends of yours have said maybe it's worth changing your image, that to tone it down yeah. a little bit. Um, the thing is, I think if you change yourself, um, you're never going to be truly happy, are you? I mean, how long can you wear a mask for before it starts to slip? And you're not, not going to be authentic to the person that you're, that you're dating. So mm. I think, why change the way I look mm. just to fit into a category of the sort of person that I'm looking for? Maybe it's just that I haven't met that particular person yet. Is it, is it you? I don't know. It may be, maybe it is me. The thing is, <laughs> maybe it is there me. are maybe there are me. many very good-looking people um, who have found great love. Absolutely. And uh, and uh, obviously, you won't be everyone's type. No. Um, and you say you're you know you're it's hampering being so good-looking is hampering um, uh, the, this sort of perfect relationship. You know, but there are lots of guys who think, nah, she's not for me. Absolutely. I don't find her attractive. And so the sort of the, that that. Middle ground. How come you can't find the person, but other people who look good uh, can manage it? Yeah, maybe it's the type of guy that I go for. I mean, I kind of, I've got a definite type. Um, Are you what? too picky? Do I you think I am quite picky. I am choosy, but I do have a definite type in looks, and um, that tends to come with a certain territory. Okay, so what sort? Of, what's your type? I like heavily tattooed guys, um, normally dressed in red flags. You know that sort of person. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I like heavily tattooed guys. You know, look good looking, look after themselves, gym goers normally. What sort yeah. of are you looking for? Intelligent. I just need someone that's able to connect with me on a deeper level. Then I, I don't do this surface level stuff. I don't like small talk. I like someone that's actually got a bit of depth and personality. See, I mean, this is why I quite, I quite like people that are heavily tattoo because they're normally quite deep and have normally sort of they're like artistic and that, that sort of person. You went on blind date, didn't you? I think it was on, was I it did. on last night. It was on night. last night. Last yeah. night. Okay. Yeah. So it was really nice. It was really it was fantastic. So I got to go on with my daughter, mm -hmm. and she was absolutely hilarious. Um, but, yeah, we go on the dates. So you're going to see the date next Sunday. Oh, that so we can't like a... spoil it. No. Seems you're like going to see the date. You're going to see the date next Sunday. He was a lovely, lovely guy, just not my type. We had a, a lot of banter, but, you know, you're going to see the date next week and see how it went. So what are you going to do, then? What's the solution to this? I'm not going to give up on love. I think I still need to, you know, I still need to keep looking, but maybe I'm just looking in the wrong places. I think we need a new way of dating. I think we need to find a way of having a face-to-face -face scenario that's not 
so alien and uncomfortable. I mean, maybe bring back speed dating, but not so fast. But yeah. you're a you're you're a um, bikini model. Um, I mean, you must meet people when you're out modelling or at the gym or any one of those sort of yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, they're not normally the sort of guy that I'd want to I'd want to go for. I don't really want to meet someone that's you know at a modelling shoot or something like that. It's not the I re-asked the, the, the question that Holly asked. Are you too picky? I am really cheesy, yeah. I am really cheesy, but who? But, but why not? Well, you why don't want to settle, ever, I'm not going to settle, you? no. So, mm -hmm. But, yeah. I've got two little children as well, so I can't settle. I've got, I have to be picky, so, you know, it's important that I do find the right person. Well, me. good luck on your quest <laughs> for love. <laughs> Thank you. Well, if you, um, if you are a heavily tattooed, <laughs> deep thinker... <laughs> Then please get in touch and we'll put you in oh, contact. You're going to really stitch me up with this. Then. No, 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 you do. Listen, I love you matchmaking. Do. It's one of my favourite things very to do. Good at, I've, really I've got, good at I've got it. good There's success. There's my answer. There's my answer. Well, Holly, put all your eggs in my basket. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Lovely to meet you. Thanks. Lovely to meet you.